Hey coach. As we saw earlier, one of the key components of physical literacy is the competence to engage with physical activity and sport. These next few sections are all about describing what being a competent mover is all about. We will also show you how to incorporate these into your sessions. The title of this video is Developing Safe and Efficient Movers. In a nutshell, being safe is about ensuring that movement happens in a way that minimizes the chances of injury. Conditioning the body to safely absorb the force generated during movement and ensuring that movement is conducted in a technically appropriate way are the keys. On the other hand, moving efficiently is all about generating the maximum amount of force with the minimum amount of energy. Okay, so in this video, we are going to introduce you to the concepts of fundamental movement skills and foundational movement skills. We will then give you some tips on applying these skills within your coaching. Motor skill development, otherwise known as motor competence, is the degree to which an individual can perform human movement. In other words, one's ability to move appropriately to fulfill a broad range of functions. Motor competence has been associated with lots of positive health benefits for kids and adults. These include 1. Increased physical activity levels 2. Health-related fitness indicators such as body composition and cardiovascular fitness 3. Perceived competence and 4. Healthy weight status Therefore, the development of motor competence is vital for both the long-term health and sporting performance. Traditionally, the focus within coaching children has been on developing fundamental movement skills. Fundamental movement skills are the building blocks of more advanced types of movement and include number one, locomotor skills, including activities like running and hopping. Number two, object control, including activities like catching, kicking and striking. Number three, stability, including activities like balancing and twisting. In his classic work, David Gallagher suggested that children can master most of the fundamental movement skills by the age of six. All children should have mastered all the fundamental movement skills by 10 to 11 years of age. However, fundamental movement skill development does not appear naturally. It needs to be developed through practice. Research in countries around the world, including the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia and the United States has shown that children's competence of fundamental movement skills is low. This leads to problems of low physical activity, poor fitness and increased levels of overweight and obese children and restrictions in lifelong physical activity. Although fundamental movement skills have been a key focus for years, Canadian researcher Ryan Hultin recently proposed the idea of foundational movement skills. Foundational movement skills reflect a broader range of movements that a child or adult can perform in a range of settings, for instance on land, water or in the air. Foundational movement skills broaden the classification of movement skills important to become physically competent. These foundational movement skills include locomotor, object control and stability skills that we saw before, but also skills not previously identified as fundamental. These include activities related to cycling, swimming and resistance training. Yes, resistance training in children. Some examples of foundational movement skills not previously included in fundamental movement skills classifications include cycling, freestyle swimming, lunge, overhead press, push-up, rolling a ball, scootering, sliding, squat and treading water. It's a pretty good list, right? In addition, 
Haltin also identified how these foundational movement skills may then transfer to specialized movements. For example, traditional fundamental movement skills like a kick transfer to a sports specialized movement of football or rugby kicks, whilst non-traditional activities like a bodyweight squat could then transfer to strength and resistance training. These skills are vital for continued physical activity participation across the lifespan and in multiple environments. So, what does all this mean for you and your participants? Here are our top tips. Number one, plan and develop fundamental movement skills in the coaching sessions of your children. These can include stability, object control, and locomotor skills. Please visit our YouTube channel for lots of examples of activities you can do. Number two, aim to plan and develop, deliver non-traditional strength type foundational movement skills in your coaching sessions. See this video snippet, but more information will be provided in video 4.2 and 4.3. Number three, encourage your participants and their parents to develop a range of foundational movement skills. Taking part in activities like cycling, scootering, and swimming really will help. Four, encourage your participants to diversify and participate in a range of activities. Following these steps will help children develop foundational movement skills necessary for a lifetime of physical activity and ensure a healthy, fit, and active life. Good luck.